So we're on to our final pillar, and that's polymorphism, or changing shapes. How does this work? Let's say that we're abstracting our program and we're creating a separate module for separate roles, and we're inheriting a lot of the behavior from parent classes. But when we're doing a lot of inheritance, we know that we get basically a copy of what the parent class is able to do. So our electric car can drive and our electric car has the same properties. But we don't really want to end up with just a whole bunch of clones in our program. That isn't great, right? We want to be able to define custom behavior as well. So in the case of our chef and our pastry chef, well, there's probably similarities between those two roles. They can probably both bake something in the oven and they can probably both make some sauce in a saucepan, but they might go about those behaviors a little bit differently. So maybe the pastry chef has to be a little bit more delicate with the things that he's working with. And the chef, maybe, well, she has to do things a little bit quicker because it's complete mayhem in the kitchen. But the point is that when you're inheriting from a parent class, there are probably things that will save yourself time that you don't have to recreate and you can simply inherit. But some of those behaviors that you're inheriting, some of the methods, you might want to customize it for your own needs. There's two ways that you can do this. Continuing our car analogy, we might have simply a levitating car. And this levitating car is going to inherit from our car class. So we're going to write extends the car class. And this is because a levitating car probably also has five seeds, then it probably also looks pretty much the same as a car. It might share the same properties. A levitating car doesn't have wheels, at least in my mind. And instead, if we were to implement the drive functionality of a levitating car, it would probably be a little bit different. Because we're already inheriting from the car class that has a drive method, if we want to use the same method, we have to override it. And to do that, we use the at sign to specify that there's a very important word coming up, and the word is override. And then on the next line, we can create our own version of drive. So we can write void uh, drive, and it looks exactly the same as before, but now it's our own version of the drive method. And our levitating car, instead of moving wheels, it's going to simply glide forwards. Very classy. So now when we so now, when we create our levitating car, and we call upon our levitating car, our maglev, to drive, then you can see that it should now glide forwards instead of using its parent's implementation of drive. So even though I inherit from my parents a number of traits and a number of behaviors, there's also things that I do differently from them, or I'd like to think I do differently. For example, the way I use a computer. I might be able to use a computer to program it, whereas my parents might just use it to go on Facebook. But the point is, we are now able to override a parent behavior and provide our own custom version of it. But we can actually go even further than that. We can actually take some of the good parts from our parent class, but simply just add. Let's build a new class. And this is going to be a self-driving car. And of course, it's a car. So it's going to extend the car class. It's going to have a drive method and it's going to have five seats. So easy. That was done. But in addition to being able to drive and make the wheels turn, I also want my self-driving car to be able to steer the car as well. Instead of simply just getting the wheels to turn, I'm going to get my self-driving car to drive me towards a destination. So I'm going to create a new property called destination and this destination is going to be set when I create a new object from the self-driving car. So I'm going to define a custom constructor. So self-driving 
car when we car when we create it we have to provide a destination and we'll call that user set destination and then once we create our self-driving car we'll set the destination property to equal the user set destination that was provided when we created our new object now inside this self-driving car when we decide to drive it we kind of want to inherit the functionality of driving which is wheels moving and as a consequence the car moving but we want to add to it as well we can again override our parent method called drive so it has to look exactly the same to also void drive empty parentheses and then we're going to trigger the parent behavior by calling soup which stands for the superclass or the parent dot drive this is going to carry out the behavior of the superclass's drive method but then afterwards we're going to do our own thing we're going to say that the steering is going to steer us towards the destination here's how it would look when we actually call this method in our main so we could create our new self-driving car we'll call it my waymo and it's going to be equal to a new self-driving car and when i create my waymo as a new self-driving car I have to provide a destination. So let's drive it towards one hackaway. And now when I say my Waymo dot drive, calling that drive method, then when I hit run, you'll see two things happen. One is that it'll carry out the parent's version of drive, which is simply to print wheels turn, but it'll also do its own own thing which is steering towards the destination and this all comes from just calling that one drive method this is polymorphism in action we're able to inherit from our parents but we're able to also improve on it we're able to change it be a little bit different by overriding their methods and if we come back to our Flutter code, you can see that we're doing that every time we're calling the build method. So a stateless widget already has an implementation, already has an implementation for the build method. But in our code, we override it and we provide what it is that we want to do instead. And this way, even though we're inheriting, we're able to be a little bit different and customize what our stateless or stateful widgets do. So getting the best parts, but then also doing custom things using these inherited